hello beautiful people welcome and thank you so much for joining me on another one my name is senda and yes here on this channel i talk all things fragrance and lifestyle but of course it is mainly fragrances for those who are new here you are truly truly welcome for those who are back for another one thank you so much i appreciate the love and support as always if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy this kind of videos don't forget to hit that like as well consider please please hitting that subscribe as well as the notification bell so you can be notified every time there is a new video on the channel guys today i have a new house to my collection fairly recently new to be exact because i did have this one in one of my unboxing videos which i will link on the screen somewhere so you can check it out because the presentation <laughs> the presentation was a 10 out of 10 you know i've loved the presentation from the get-go guys so this one i honestly let's just get it i love this fragrance right now i'm in love with it it's a beautiful fragrance we are talking about a beautiful house it's an italian house which honestly is my first time getting into this house and their fragrances so we're talking about v canto i think this is supposed to be v stands for something i think so and canto might be song in italian i don't know i heard that somewhere but i may be wrong i may be wrong guys so correct me if i am but this is a beautiful beautiful house uh from the family of the terenzis it's Tiziana Terenzi, I think that's it. But I have never purchased a Tiziana Terenzi fragrance, to be quite honest. And this is my intro, and I'm so intrigued by this house in particular, and also the Tiziana Terenzi fragrances. At this point, I have purchased myself some, which are on the way, and I'm so excited. But okay, which fragrance am I talking about? Because I keep going. We are talking about Sicuta. I think I'm pronouncing that wrong because. It's Italian. I'm not Italian, okay? But we're talking about Sicuta from the house of Canto or V Canto. I don't know. But basically, the packaging, guys, as I showed in that video, it's a beautiful packaging. And it comes with a little notebook that gives you all the line of fragrances from this particular line of fragrances. And this is the red collection. They have a couple of them. I don't know how many. But uh, right now, I only have one. And this is Sicuta. So... I will read you guys a box story of what Sikuta is all about before we get into the nitty gritties, okay? So, uh, let's see. Hemlock is what This is according to the little notepad, guys. The little notebook, whatever it is. Okay, I'm not making this up. It's from the notebook that came with the fragrance. <laughs> but anyway, it says Hemlock is one of the de deadliest poise portions portions yes known to man and when dosed correctly it has a hypnotic effect that controls the hearts and the minds of men uh from the first waft this this creation slips smoothly into the meanders of our emotions drawing them into a dreamlike state so this fragrance in particular guys it is a citrus vanilla rose uh almost leather as well smoky you're getting amber in there it's, it's a beautiful fragrance from the house of canto and i honestly have been enjoying this fragrance i am wearing it but guys let's just appreciate the beautiful velvet finish of this fragrance it's such a beautiful beautiful packaging so let's just give it a 10 out of 10 for presentation because you know i love that and it's quite heavy too it's not heavy heavy terribly but it's like a nice heavy so you know it's quality stuff but i honestly love this fragrance what can i say it is i think it's a 2016 release from of course pa paulo paulo Te Te you know what i'm trying to say <laughs> but anyways it is from there the the family of the Te Te oh good lord i would not say it loud. let's just stop you guys know what I'm saying, okay? But yes, so it's a beautiful 2016 release. It's supposed to be, I think, in my opinion. Guys, this is a really strong, uh, almost like a red... It's it's a rose. What do we have? Let me read, read out the notes. They're actually in this booklet, which is so amazing. So I'm not going around, but I did compare them with what Fragrantica and other sites had. But we basically, it's, you know, the same. So the opening is orange, uh, clementine, bergamot medium notes we have coriander we have rose so i think this is bulgarian rose and then we have rose absoluto which is just rose i guess i don't know what the difference is uh that i was actually thinking there would be a red rose in here because good lord it 
okay, let me not get carried away. But then we have at the base, we have some vanilla, uh, bin and flour as well. We have Viper bur Burger Balls. I think, I don't know what that is. I honestly don't. And then we have Umbra, we have Birchwood, and we have some Mask too. I thought Birchwood was in the middle. But anyways, that's pretty much what we have according to the booklet that came with the fragrance. This is a beautiful, beautiful take on Rose, guys. If you love Rose fragrances and if you want to try a true deep, deep rose that almost smells like an old school a red rose but still you know has that sophistication to it it's addictive it is intoxicating as the story says here guys like it's you get a hypnotic effect 100% because honestly I'm not a big rose person I do not like floral based fragrances because I find they almost smell the same for most of them especially for the females we get the generic rose, it's sweet, it's nothing exciting, it's just like bleh. So, <laughs> you know, I'm just not, it doesn't intrigue me. But when you meet a rose from Sikuta or Kanto, it's like, okay, people need to wake up and actually learn how to do rose. Because this one right here is perfection, in my opinion. I love this fragrance, it's a different kind of rose. And you know it guys, if you've been on the channel enough, you know I'm always looking for a different kind of song, okay? So this one is definitely a different kind of rose and I love it, honestly. It has that, I don't know, it's almost like a burnt smokiness to it. I don't know if it comes from the amber to the vanilla. The opening is like, it opens up you get citruses right away, like you're getting bergamot and all that, like orange at the opening. But as soon as it enters into the dry down, you start to get that rose, you start to get that woody, smoky feeling and it's, and longevity. Okay, I'm so excited that, you know, <laughs> this video might go longer than it should. Longevity, guys, 10 out of 10. Honestly, this fragrance for me is a 10 out of 10 everything because character let's see i'm always trying to say if it's a 10 out of 10 everything should give me some character what character do i imagine wearing this i don't know you just have your you know you're not afraid to be different that's kind that's who you are like you are tired of like i'm saying of the generic rose sweet kind of like non exciting you are you want to be a hypnotic kind of rose like you are a red rose it's Ugh, dripping with blood that's a little too much isn't it but it's beautiful it's be <laughs> it's beautiful guys and i love love this fragrance it is it is honestly amazingly done let me go back to longevity because longevity blew my mind it's a 10 out of 10 it goes past eight hour mark so if you like okay i want to wear it to the office which i wouldn't recommend by the way <laughs> don't do that because this one is really intoxicating and i think you should get compliments because it's different okay but anyways uh longevity definitely went past eight hour mark 10 hour mark i'm telling you guys because i wore this like last week and weeks before last week i wore it so much to test it to make sure but it just it just blew my mind like and if you spray it in your hair like i always say it's, it's gonna be it's just gonna stay there <laughs> like clothing too and amazingly enough on my skin too it lasts on the skin not only on your clothing so this one for the money that you paying for the niche it's honestly it's not that bad because even some monseras are quite expensive compared to this one of course if you get more into uh, I think there are some fragrances from this house that are definitely more on the pricey side just like uh, the Teziana Terenzi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> Fragrances, you know. So it's definitely, but this one was a good price. I think all the ones in the red collection are fairly priced well. And I'm so excited to get my hands on the other ones that are coming. So I can give you guys the tea. And from here on, you know, this girl is going to be going crazy purchasing fragrances from this house. Just like how I started my Mansara. It was small, but then it just blew, 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 blew. So this is definitely what's happening with this house. And I honestly recommend it. Honest, I don't know if you can get a sample where you are. I don't know about Canada because it's kind of hard to get especially the niche brands in canada but maybe in the us you may be able to go to a store that has these fragrances uh, i'm actually trying to find a store that sells that's dedicated to 
to the, these line of fragrances, like their family of fragrances, which is quite hard in Canada, but I'm sure in the US you should be able to find a sample somehow, um, maybe even directly from their site actually in Canada as well. But if you can get yourself a sample, then that would be great. Would I recommend it as a blind buy? If you love rose, I would, but if you're not big on rose, probably not. That's what I would say. If you love rose, go ahead. I think you'll love this one because it's it's honestly it's different. It's a beautiful, beautiful down one. But if you're not a rose person, then no, do not blind buy it because of course cha ching, like I always say, is more on the pricier side, so you don't want to waste your money. But I hope you guys have a better understanding. Someone did tell me it is a dupe of Baccarat Rouge. I honestly don't know. There's just so many dupes of Baccarat Rouge, and I need to get myself a sample or a decant of Baccarat Rouge because I will be honest with you guys right now I have not smelled that fragrance I just feel there's way too many uh, reviews on it way too much information and for the money that you spend on it I don't think I'm ready to purchase it like that so and I haven't been like excited to go and actually try it but at this point I think I need to for the sake of giving reviews and being able to say okay it is a dupe this one works you know but that's pretty much it guys if you enjoyed the video it was pretty much long where i was just talking about this fragrance but if you did enjoy the video as always don't forget to hit that like subscribe as well as the notification bell but guys as always keep looking amazing and even smelling better i will catch you on the other side it is goodbye for now